Now, I'm the biggest, uh, Adam Gould, biggest fan of Quadriga, so I'm super excited to be here uh, with Patrick now. Hello, thanks for having me today. Patrick is running our studio over in uh, Poland, in Warsaw, and um, so you're uh, looking after ancient arenas and, um, of course, uh, Stargate as well. Um, before we jump into the game, uh, let me uh, tell you a couple of things. Now, uh, Ancient Arena's uh, Chariots, of course, uh, um, is a, a game that starts uh, on the back of the success of uh, Quadriga, and um, we've been working very hard to make it a very modern experience, and instead of just following on on the, on the uh, original one, we're sort of try to you know, bring it to the next level. And bring it to the next level means that uh, I think we've sort of noticed from uh, the little trailer, the little intro trailer, that we've, we're trying to make it fast-paced and, and super exciting. Uh, the, the chariot racing wasn't really boring and, um, you know, somehow it wasn't, you know, a, a very strategic uh, uh, race type of race. It was gritty, it was uh, fierce and it was uh, super... Um, hard work for the for the Arigas. Um, so what we've seen here is the main art of the game and uh, that we've just put together with our um, team in Ukraine. And we have, uh, we, we, what we're trying to achieve here is trying to give it a modern feel and, uh, and, and uh, also sort of take it to a NASCAR type yeah. of look and feel as well. Uh, because that, that was that was the you know chariot racing at the time. It was you know very fierce and very hard um, and, and gritty as well. Lots of lots of dead people, lots of injuries. Uh, injuries. Uh, it was a real sport, but it was uh, not a sport that you would practice uh, nowadays. Now, uh, Patrick, what did you bring to us today? So uh, today I would like to show you uh, footage. It's called it a Quick Race. Uh, it's a game mode when, where we can set up everything from every kind of detail we want to do in the race. For example, uh, we can choose the region where we're going to race during this one particular race. It's a one-time race uh, and uh, we can set up uh, mostly everything if we can see the footage. Yeah. Let's try and run the footage and see what uh, you have brought to us. Yes, so this is the main lobby of creating the quick race uh, race. Uh, and for the start, we choose one of four uh, main regions. Uh, regions differ between them uh, with the pool of races that are available there. Uh, as we can see, uh, races uh, differ mostly uh, in a uh, amount of lanes we have on the track. Uh, so here we're gonna choose uh, Spain. Uh, it's one of my favorite regions because of uh, unique visuals the, the, the Spain region has uh, by itself. And I think we're going for the four lanes uh, track. So uh, that means we're gonna have four different uh, chariots going one next to each other. Uh, we can set up how many laps we're gonna do during the race because sometimes in the fierce sport w which uh, horse racing, uh, chariot racing was, uh, surviving is a key part. Uh, also, uh, here we can set up if we want to uh, have some obstacles on the track because not always uh, the, the, the track was set in the pristine uh, quality. Uh, what is an obstacle on the track? Uh, it can be everything, like a puddle of water uh, or maybe some kind of stones uh, falling from the track itself because they didn't usually uh, take good care of it. Okay. Uh, so if we could pause a bit the video a little bit. Uh, we uh, were picking as well if we want to play in the dynamic mode uh, or a, a turn-based uh, mode. In the turn-based mode, uh, we play the game uh, in the turns, uh, when the, at the end of the turn, time stops. And in the uh, dynamic mode, the time never slows so badly, so uh, we have to make a quick decision. So here we have a, a footage of how we pick a chariot. Uh, there are a few different setups we can pick. 
uh, and the, the differences between those setups are two major things. One of them is a set of skills uh, that our Auriga has. Uh, some of them are able to uh, maybe crash into another Cherion in the lane next to it. Uh, others are able to whip the enemy horses to make them go faster. And some of them uh, are able to uh, be the fastest one driver on the track. So the other difference between them is the basic flat stats they have, how fast they will accelerate, how well they will break, and how much damage will they actually do to the enemies while attacking them. Uh, so yeah, uh, we decided to go uh, with a, a setup that has that cool um, wolf pelt helmet. It's one of my favorites, so I decided, hey, why not, I will go with it. Uh, this one particular, particular Auriga cannot go too fast. He cannot uh, double whip the horses to make them go faster, but uh, he's uh, really good at attacking the enemies, which I will use later on in the, the gameplay. So, w when we choose our Auriga, uh, we also uh, choose uh, the AI players that will take part with, uh, during the race, and we are ready to go. So, uh, on the track, uh, we are starting this race from the lines. Uh, every, we can see uh, who are our opponents right here. We can uh, see what is their sigil. Uh, and this particular one outlined guy, here we are. And uh, now I'm choosing the first order. It's, uh, we can see uh, how far will I go by choosing this one or this one. Uh, here I have a choice between the normal acceleration and whipping. Whipping is going to take me more uh, further and faster, but whipping your own horses may uh, make them take damage. So uh, I don't want that and I will start with a uh, regular acceleration. Uh, here we can see that we have a dynamic camera. We can change angles of it. Uh, we can see uh, everything from behind uh, of our Auriga. I will have fun a little bit with it to show you that you can adjust it however you want to capture the best moments. Uh, <clears throat> so after this, I have to make the decision because the corner, uh, the curve is uh, coming to us and I have to decide if I want to accelerate to go faster or maybe this time I will decide to take a fight, because I cannot go left, I cannot go right, I cannot change the lane. So how about uh, making it worse for my opponents? Uh, so I decided to whip my enemy, because, uh, as, because the curve is close, and sometimes going too fast is not good for them. Oh, this time I slowed him down, because I can decide if I want to uh, make him faster, to make him maybe roll over the, on the curve, or make him slower this time. Uh, yes, and now we are going to the one of the most important decisions in the game. How do I want to play it on the curve? Because, as I said before, going too fast may cause me to roll over. I don't want it, so I've decided to pick a control uh, stance, which allows me to control my horses, cause, because when I go too fast, uh, my horses might slip to the truck next to me. And here I am again, uh, stuck between two uh, enemies. What I'm gonna do? I decided to this time to slow down the right one because I'm faster than the uh, the chariot next to, on my left. Uh, I eliminated the enemy on the right, and now I'm gonna do a, a little trick. I will try to block the enemy on the left. The, this way, he's not gonna for sure not gonna uh, pass me in his next turn. But now I'm going really, really fast. What I'm gonna do, uh, because I'm on the most inner lane uh, of the track, uh, it might be risky for me uh, to go this fast on the track, but sometimes a little bit of luck is really needed. And I'm just taking a risky decision because I know that looking at the minimap, I can see that 
most of the competition is behind me, but there are these two guys that can catch up to me and I'm trying to take uh, that risky decision. Okay, let's go full speed, most inner track and best, I wish the best if I manage to survive it. And luckily, I did it. Uh, my chariot got a little bit damaged. I lost a little bit of my speed, but that was the risk I took in order to gain advantage over the enemies. Now, I tried to block my enemy again, but he was smart and decided to go to the tr track on the left. So mm, my decisions are, he's going fast. I need to block him again. And this time, again, I managed to do this. Uh, he's whipping his horses, uh, but because of me blocking him, he's not uh, able to uh, pass me. So yeah, I was trying to catch some cool uh, views uh, with our dynamic camera. It's one of the features I really like because uh, catching the cool moments is uh, what we like in the racing. And why don't we do this in uh, our way of racing with the chariots? So uh, this guy really decides to pass me. So this time I need to take a risky moment again. And this is one of my favorite moments of this footage. Uh, we can see me going on the curve, really bounce, bouncing a little bit to the right, uh, trying to hold on as much as I can. And with this move, uh, I will ensure that I will be the first one. That's the one, two more straights and the eternal glory is ours. Uh, right now, uh, I'm trying to, that's my favorite tactic actually, to block the enemy way so they won't be able to, to go past me because he's going faster than me because he uh, picked up the setup that it's much faster than, than mine. So I have to use some tactics in order to, to, to block him, don't let him to, uh, past me. He was forced to go outside, so it's really good for me because going outside, most outside uh, circle, um, makes him go a um, much longer way, way than it's gonna be with me. So, uh, once again, um, taking the curve this time is much safer because no, this is not the most inner one. And the final straight for me. Uh, Eternal Glory, just in a two more moves, is ours. Uh, the public is uh, cheering for us. We are whipping horses a little bit just to make it much, much faster. And, and victory! That's, that's really cool. Um, Patrick, I will, uh, I will tell you one thing. Um, it's, it's really looking exciting and I, I have to say uh, it's really cool to see the AI working yes. with, uh, against you. But, uh, you know, that, that is one question and, you know, that, that's the most important one. What you're working on for multiplayer? Yes, the multiplayer, we will have the multiplayer implemented. Uh, we will be able to race with our friends just as I raced with... Uh, uh, AI right now, we can set up everything we want, every race, we, uh, every detail of the race we want, and we can create our own, I don't know, league even. If we, if we want to race with our friends, uh, takes a note, uh, everybody agrees to certain setups, and we can race with them. All right, well, that's great. And um, how far are we from the end of the development cycle? Uh, take a guess. <laughs> take a guess. Uh, I believe in the next year, uh, at the beginning, we will try to do some testing. So, uh, yeah, in the next year, beginning of the next year, uh, the game will be there to, to test it. Okay. And in the future, soon. So beta testing coming soon uh, for uh, Ancient Arena's Chariots. Uh, it's a really exciting uh, yeah. game, uh, and something that goes a little bit outside of the boundaries of uh, are traditional games, but uh, I'm really excited about it. So uh, good luck also for Sigurin Poland and uh, all Thank the you. new exciting adventures that uh, you have ahead of you. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thank um, you. And uh, we're going to have Broken Arrow coming next. So we're going from uh, horse chariot tracing to uh, something uh, a bit more modern and contemporary. Uh, I can see Felix uh, uh, waiting on the other side of the room. So without further ado, um, let's take a look at Broken Arrow. Bye.